am glad you came. I must ask for your help. That is not easy for me. It's all right. Just tell me what you need. When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morinth. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. Didn't you say you'd pick up her trail after our mission? I know where she is, right now. In a month, she may be gone. This is the best opportunity I've ever had. Where is she? Omega. A nightclub called Afterlife, which seems a perfect place for her to hunt. How important is this? Killing her has been my focus for 400 years. It is the most important thing in my life, and the reason I became a Justicar. Tell me about her. She is an Ardot Yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds, but that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. So is an Ardot Yakshi a special kind of murderer? Morin suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages your brain. You end up a mindless shell, and soon after, you are dead. Why isn't this ever mentioned in Asari literature or art? When we were primitive, there was much fascination with Ardat Yakshi. Some cultures worshipped them as gods of destruction. Now the Asari have a place in the galaxy, and they don't wish this defect to be widely known. As far as I know, only three exist today. Two chose a life of seclusion. The third ran. Morinth. She ran, and I am sworn to kill her. I don't know that I blame her for running. When she fled, she proved her addiction. She was not taking a great moral stand. She simply wants to keep killing. She is a tragic figure, but not a sympathetic one. Can't she abstain? Each encounter gives her strength. The effect is narcotic. The more she does it, the more she needs to do it. She will never stop. She can't. So you hunt down these Asari just because they're born with a genetic condition? It manifests with maturity. When one is diagnosed, she is offered the chance to live in seclusion and comfort. If she refuses, it shows her addiction to the ecstasy she gets from killing her mates. There is no redemption for such a person. They have to choose between prison and death? It is an addictive condition. Remember how adaptive we are. If Morinth does not want to be cured, she won't be. This is definitely worthy of your full attention. She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. We need to stop her. Thank you, Commander. There are no words to express what this means to me. There is one thing more. This creature, this monster, she is my daughter. You said this is genetic. How many children do you have? Three. And three Ardat Yakshi are in existence today. It is as it sounds. Morinth was always the wild one. She was happy and free, but selfish. I cannot imagine what this is like for you. I do not want pity, Shepard. I do not accept it. My daughter's condition is my fault, and my redemption lies in killing her. Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. How did all this happen? I spent my youth on the move, adventuring. I killed people, mated with them, or just danced the night away. I learned so much, experienced so much, and then my matron days came. I could finally sit back, bask, and enjoy my family. But in one moment, it was all taken away. It sounds terrible. I sat in a med lab while a nearsighted doctor droned at me, and I learned that nothing was as I thought it would be. I gave up all that I possessed. I owe nothing, claim nothing. All my knowledge will die with me. Now my purpose is to destroy my own children. Those moments change you. And I've hundreds of years left to live with that. I say too much. Forgive me. Help me find my long lost daughter. And kill her. We'll go find Morinth.
you need? An Asari fugitive is hiding out here. She's an Ardat Yakshi. We need to find her. I knew it. Nothing leaves a body quite so empty as an Ardat Yakshi does. You haven't taken steps to kill her. Why would I? She hasn't tried to seduce me. Her last victim was a young girl. Pretty thing. Lived in the tenements near here. That's where I started looking. Thanks for the help. Good luck finding her. Better luck catching her. Are you here about my daughter? My nephew died a week ago and no one seems to care. The medics said it was a brain hemorrhage, but that's not true. It was murder. Someone killed my nephew, my baby. I think she was murdered too, and I'm looking for her killer. Oh, thank you. It's so hard when no one believes you. I'm all alone now. Are you one of Arya's people? I'm here to help. Does it matter who sent me? No one else on this hellhole station gives a damn that my nephew is dead. If you can do something about it, I'll help you however I can. What kind of a girl was your daughter? My nephew had a fire inside her. She was shy, but she was creative and driven and uh, the best girl a mother could hope for. She was creative? How so? She was a sculptor. Several galleries were interested in her. Said her work was fresh. Did your daughter have a lot of friends? Not a lot, no. She was shy. Spent most of her time off making her sculptures, not hanging out with friends. Something did change in the last few weeks, though. She started talking about an Asari. Morinth. I see. I didn't like her. She kept dragging Neff out to clubs, and I'm pretty sure she gave my daughter drugs. Samara, does Morinth control her victims with drugs? She controls them through sheer will. The drugs are just a lifestyle. She loves the club, loves the base. She's a hedonist. So this Morinth did hurt my daughter? Is she the one that... that... I will bring justice to the one that did this. We swear to you. Neff will rest easy soon. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> my baby. What kind of a person was this Morinth? I never met her. But Neff talked about her like she was a queen. You'd swear there was no one else alive when she talked about Morinth. That sounds familiar. Did Neff hang out anywhere in particular? She was always quiet working here at home. Then, a few weeks ago, she started going out all the time to the VIP area of that club down the street. I think you need a password or something to get in there. The change was so sudden. She just seemed tired and distracted when she wasn't around Morinth. You mind if I examine Neff's room? I didn't want to disturb anything. Her clothes, her art, her sculptures, everything is the way she left it. The way it will always be. <laughs> My baby is gone. She's gone. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry, I just miss her so much. It's okay. We've all suffered loss. I know what it means to lose a daughter. I will avenge her. Thank you. Please, if it helps you find her killer, look through her things. Read the oldest entry. Hey, diary. Cycle 34, orbit 671. There's a lot to talk about. I dropped your root's name, and they let me into the VIP room at Afterlife. I'm sure everyone was staring at me. Then the most beautiful Asari starts dancing near me. She moves like water, form and volume, but shifting, changing. I'm in a trance. Then I'm dancing with her. Later, we went for skewers, and I'm supposed to see her again tomorrow. Read the middle entry. Cycle 36, orbit 671. Oh, am I a freak? Morinth is a girl like me, and she's definitely not human. Just when we dance and the helix is flowing through me, the way she looks at me, with a, a hunger, a longing, no one's ever looked at me like that. We kiss tonight. Read the newest entry. Cycle 42, orbit 67. She's going to take me to her apartment tonight. Whatever happens, I want to be with her forever. She can sell my pieces, we can live somewhere glamorous, like the women in Vanya that Vid Morinth likes. How did this happen to me? I'm just dumb trash from Omega. 
Close the hollow journal. This is Maureen's work. She is attracted to artists and creators. Someone with a spark slightly isolated from their peers. She impresses with sophistication and sex appeal. Then she strikes. The hunt interests her as much as the conquest. Anyone who successfully hunted sapient beings for 400 years warrants caution. Morin speaks to you on many levels. Her body tells yours that she'll bring unimaginable ecstasy. Her scent evokes emotions long hidden. Her eyes promise you things you were always scared to ask of another. Her voice whispers to you after she is done speaking. She sounds more like a highly evolved killer than a genetic defective. The condition has been present since my people huddled around fires at night. Perhaps it is symbiotic rather than a defect. Storming her den would be a mistake. She will have a hundred escape routes planned. She will go to ground and disappear for fifty years or more. This is the closest I've ever been. So we have to lure her out? Exactly. Shepard, you read my mind. Afterlife's VIP section seems her preferred hunting ground. You must go there alone and unarmed. I'm walking into this place with no gun and no backup? I will be in the shadows watching, Shepard. You will never be alone. This I swear. But you cannot barge in with guns and allies. Morinth is far too cagey. She'd simply disappear. This is a subtle, delicate act. Trust me. She'll come after me. You can draw Morinth out. She'll certainly flee if she catches sight of me. But she won't be able to resist you. You are an artist on the battlefield. You have the vital spark that attracts her. Your power will draw her in. Time's wasting. Let's get over there. I agree. We can talk more once we're there. What do you want? What's behind this door? VIP section of the club. For those with the right name. Do you want something? Someone told me the rest of Afterlife is nothing compared to this place. Sounds like a smart person. Who was it? Jarut. Go on in. Word to the wise. Start a fight, we'll hurt you. Someone attacks you, it's okay to defend yourself. Suicidal bravery could attract her. Hurt someone in defense and she will be excited. But pick a fight and she'll be bored. Show skill at working smoothly through a nightclub crowd. She will be intrigued. She'll want you the moment she sees you. The rest is just a matter of overpowering her caution. How do I convince her to take me home? She admires strength, directness, and vigor. Modesty, chivalry, or meekness frustrate and bore her. Violence excites her. You've killed Shepard. She'll like that. Getting her alone, then falling under her sway? That'll require careful timing. I will be near, and I will come for you, Shepard. Trust me, as I trust and honor you. Okay, what other things have we learned about Morinth that can help us here? According to Neff's journal, Morinth likes dancing while on a drug called Halax. Neff's journal mentioned a vid called Veyenya. It seemed to have something to do with glamorous women. Morinth sent Neff a note saying she likes the Elcor artist Forta. Well, Shepard, that's everything we know. Let's get started. Shepard, we only get one chance at this. Any mistake and Morinth will disappear. If you're the least bit unsure, come talk to me. I will wait here. And Shepard, thank you. I do not share this burden easily, and you are the only soul I can imagine sharing it with. What'll you have? These are good people, but they look bored. Board people don't spend much. And you got an idea for how I could fix that? A round of drinks shows that you appreciate their business. Your rep will improve, and you'll make more money in the end. Maybe worth a try once. You better be right. Listen up, everyone! We love having you here, so a round of drinks on the house! My name is Morin. I've been watching you. You're the most interesting person in this place. I've got a booth over here in the shadows. Why don't you come sit with me? 
Some nights I come here and there's no one interesting to talk to. Some nights, there's just one person. Tonight, it's you. Why is that? You and I want the same things. Do we? What do you think of the music here? Dark rhythms, violent pulses. It stirs something primitive in me. What about you? I'm curious about a band called Expel 10. They get in my head and tear it to pieces. They're in concert soon. Maybe we should go together. You can lose yourself in the music here. There are ways to enhance that. You know? What do you think of Halix? It slithers through my soul. Seems like we share some interests. Do you know anything about art? It speaks to the darkest places in me. What about you? Do you know the artist Porta? I didn't think anyone around here knew him. He's sublime. Art comes in many varieties. I've seen vids that were more powerful than a sculpture sitting in a gallery. Do you know Vanya? My favorite. The two actresses on it are so glamorous. I'll have to watch it. Maybe we could do that together. I've traveled all over the galaxy. It changes you, doesn't it? Real travel means going to dangerous places. Where you can see and do things most people can't imagine. Yes. When I travel, I find myself drawn to dark, dangerous places. Violent places? Violence is the surest expression of power. Violence is a means to an end. Power is that end. Do you want to get out of here? My apartment is nearby and I want you alone. I love clubs. People, movement, heat. I can still hear the bass like the drums of a great hunt out for your blood. But here, it's muted and you're safe. Is that what you want, Shepard? People feel safest right before they die. It's true, we're never safe. I've never understood the fascination with safety. Some of us choose differently. Independence over submission? I think we share that, you and I. We've both killed many times, but that's where the similarities end. Why do you say that I've killed? What do you know? Let's stop playing games. to my eyes and tell me you want me. Tell me you'd kill for me. Anything I want. Don't count on it. But you... Who are you? Oh no. I see what's going on. The bitch herself found a little helper. Marin. Mother, do not call me that. I can't choose to stop being your daughter, mother. You made your choice long ago. What choice? My only crime was being born with the gifts you gave me. Enough, Morinth! I am the genetic destiny of the Asari, but they are not ready to reveal this. So I must die. You are a disease to be purged, nothing more. I'm as strong as she is. Let me join you. I am already sworn to help you, Shepard. Let us finish this. End of the line, Morinth. And they call me a monster. <laughs> Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. to leave this place and get on with my life. Are you ready to go as well? Do you want to talk about what happened? Shepard, what do you think I will say? What can I say? I just killed the bravest and smartest of my daughters. There are no words. I will try another time. For now, show mercy on a broken old warrior and let us leave. Glad things worked out, Commander. I was worried you'd dump Samara for some crazy soul sucker with a death fetish all live and sexy and... Never mind. Morinth haunted my dreams and waking hours equally. For the first time in 400 years, I am free. 
I am a ruined vessel of sorrow and regret, but I am free. It is not a feeling I can describe. Was it worth it? It was never a question of worth, but of need. I had to take the action I did, as did she. This was never a story that would have a happy outcome. You did your duty. What about your feelings? One of my daughters is dead. My hopes, my dreams were all bound up in my children. Still, my feelings have always come after my duty. The same is true of you. You said that Morith was a monster, but she was still your daughter. She was the strongest and smartest. She would not accept the injustice thrust upon her. She fought to the end. I am so proud of her, Shepard. You killed her for being what she was. And I would again. But I also know what it means to leave everything behind and fight. Do you realize that she went on the run at the age of 40? I do not know human years well, but it is very young for Asari. What will you do now that Morath is gone? Assuming I survive your mission? I am a Justicar. Injustice still exists, and perhaps even other Ardat Yakshi. There's no way to correct the condition Morinth had? We are an advanced species, but we don't have magic. When the trait manifests at maturity, it is too late for mitigation. It only occurs in purebloods like myself. Perhaps that is the root of the stigma regarding Asari exclusive pairings. I don't know. I thought Ardat Yakshi were extremely rare. Asari have spread to many worlds. There are remote regions with no government oversight. If I travel to those worlds and they do exist, I will find them. Morinth claimed that her condition was the future of the Asari race. Morinth would say anything that served her cause. Ardat Yakshi are sterile, Shepard. That wouldn't be a particularly viable future for my people. You don't want to settle down? I did. I returned to my homeworld and tried to start a family. I will fight and struggle all my life. That is my fate. When I die, it will not be in bed. I am at peace with that. You still control the direction of your life. I have chosen this path. I truly am at peace, due in no small part to you. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Sounds good. I could use some downtime. There's always something, right? The way some people talk, we may as well be dead already. Hard for the crew to relax on this kind of job. No kidding. The next Normandy gets a lounge. They better not need to do this again. Rebuilding everything was a pain in the ass. I can verify that. Yeah, I bet you can. I doubt they'll front the money to stitch me back together if we screw it up. It's a hell of a job, isn't it, Shepard? Being the good guys. Wouldn't be the high road if it was easy. You've got to figure, if all the people hoping we win stood up, the Collectors would have a much bigger fight on their hands. Claws, whatever. I bet we have a lot more friends once we win. Hope we live to see it. I hear that. Anyway, I need to get back to work. Good talking to you. Hey. What's happening? You got a lot of questions, don't you? I miss your friendly nature when you're not around. I've been thinking. We've seen a lot of shit together now, and you're always coming to talk to me. Shepard, you got feelings for me? Because I don't need the complication. Then don't worry. I'm not interested. Good. I didn't want you coming around here anymore anyway. You got what you want, Jack. We'll keep this business. No problem. Shepard. Is there something wrong? Yes. Now that you are here, though, it seems more difficult to talk about. Are you feeling sick? I could get the doctor. No, no. Though I suppose that is a part of it. My mortality has me dwelling on things. I had a family once. I still have a son. His name is Kolyat. I haven't seen him for a very long time. Did something happen to them? I abandoned them. Oh, not all at once. Nothing dramatic, no sneaking out in the middle of the night. No final argument or slammed door. I just did my job. I hunted and killed across the galaxy. Away on business, my wife would tell people. I was always away on business. How long has it been since you talked? Ten years. He showed me some of his schoolwork and asked if we could dance crazy. We did that when he was younger. What sort of dance is that? It's... I checked my extranet contacts. I expect an update on my next target. The console plays music. Oh, 
unfashionable. Kolyat jumps into the room. My father runs around in circles. I scoop him up, toss him into the air. He shrieks, laughs, spin me. The console beeps. I put him down, click the message. Father, he pleads, tugs my sleeve. I need to read this, I say. I don't look at him. You never mentioned this before. Why now? When my wife departed from her body, I attended to that issue. I left Kolyat in the care of his aunts and uncles. I have not seen him or talked to him since. Well, that's not the choice I expected. Why didn't you raise him yourself? My body is blessed with the skills to take life. The Hanar honed them in me. I have few others. I didn't want that life for Kolyat. I hoped he would find his own way. If he hated me, so be it. He would not have shared the path of sin. I used my contacts to trace Kolyat. He has become... disconnected. He does what his body wills. You'll have to explain that one to me. Disconnected. The body is not our true self. The soul is. Body and soul work as one in a whole person. When the soul is weakened by despair or fear, when the body is ill or injured, the individual is disconnected. No longer whole. Well, what's wrong with him? Is he hurt? Something happened that should not have. He knows where I've been, what I've done. I don't know his reasons, but he has gone to the Citadel. He's taken a job as a hitman. I would like your help to stop him. He is... This is not a path he should walk. You don't hire a raw rookie for a contract killing. I'm afraid someone may have seen we share a name and assumed we share skills. I don't know why he would accept the task. To be closer to you, maybe? That thought haunts me more than any other. Maybe he name-dropped you to get hired. It's possible, but I don't think so. It doesn't seem right. My name. He should not respect it. Thane, I don't have your contacts and I don't have your tracking skills. Why do you need my help for this? I don't need your help. I want it. The last time I saw my son, they wrapped her body in sea vines. Weighted it with stones. He tries to pull from me. Calls for her. The hammer lift her off the platform. They sing like bells. The fire has gone to be kindled anew. He begs them not to take her away. They let her body slide into the water. He hits me. Don't let them. Stop them. Why weren't you? It rains. It always rains on Kaje. Warm water pours down his face. I didn't mean to make you relive that. Perfect memory. It is sometimes a burden. What made him go to the Citadel? Years ago, I prepared a package for him. A relic of my ill-spent life. I had Volus Bankers store it, and arranged for delivery when I died. He acquired it early. I don't really know how. I did wet work on the Citadel around the time his mother died. That may be why he went there. I'll get us to the Citadel as soon as possible. Thank you, Shepard. I'll be meditating until you need me. My associate is trying to find his son. We think a local criminal may have hired him. That should be easy. We don't see many drell here. There we go. One of my men reported a drell recently. And he was talking to Mouse. Interesting. Mouse? Ah, petty criminal. Probably not the guy who hired your boy, but a messenger. He's a former duct rat. Runs errands for anyone who'll pay. What was it you called, Mouse? A duct rat. It's a local slang for the poor kids who grow up in the station. When they're small, they tend to play in the ventilation ducts where adults can't get to them. Aren't the ducts dangerous? Every couple of months, we pull a little body out of them. Lacerated by fan blades, broken by a deadfall, suffocated by vacuum exposure. Those are just the ones we know about. More just disappear. Maybe they get sucked into space. Maybe they fall into the protein vats the keepers run. Mouse survived long enough that he can't fit in the ducts anymore. He was one of the smarter ones, or the luckier ones. What sort of trouble has Mouse been getting himself into? Odd jobs for shifty people. Duct rats take whatever is available to get by. Data running, fencing stolen goods, selling illegal VI personalities. Actually, he was selling one of you. 
Me? Yeah, when you erased a file, it would say I delete data like you on the way to real errors. That's pretty extreme, Commander. Laugh it up, Garrus. Buggy, though. It crashed every half hour. The error message was about how the galaxy was at stake, and you should fix the problem yourself. I've heard enough. Mouse is usually upstairs outside the Dark Star. He works out of a public comm terminal. You should pick up a copy of the Shepard VI when you talk to him. It sounds like your boy is running with the wrong crowd. Yes, I agree. If Mouse can't get you in touch with your son directly, he'll know who can. I'll help you if you need it. You don't know us, Captain. Why are you going so far to help us? I've worked at Kara for two years. Every day kids turn to crime because they've got no other choice, because their parents don't care. You're trying to save yours. He faces a dark path. We better hurry then. You didn't tell him that Kolyat plans to assassinate someone. We're gonna stop him before that happens, aren't we? Yeah, sure. I can get you two cases by the end of the day. You mouse? What are you- Oh shit! Krios! I thought you were tired. Commander Shepard? I, I thought you died. What do you want with me? Be still, Mouse. You can change your pants in a moment. How do you know Thane? Krios? He didn't... If he didn't say nothing, I ain't either. When we heard the name, I didn't think it could be the same Mouse. He was a contact on the Citadel when I was active. He and some other children would gather information on my targets. You put children in danger to spy for you? Children, the poor. My people's word for their kind is Dralafa, the ignored. They're everywhere, see everything. Yet they are never seen. You gave another Drell instructions for an assassination. Who's the target? I, I don't know. I didn't ask. Because the people I work for, they can make me disappear. I'd like to help you, Krios. You've always done right by us, but... I ain't gonna die for you. Look, you know Thane. He wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. Do it for him. I want to. He was always nice to us. But these people ain't nice, Krios. Nobody's gonna know you talk to us. Mouse, I swear that you won't be named. All right, all right. He came with that hollow you took of me. Said he wanted a job. I ran through your old contacts to see who might give him a shot. The guy who offered was Elias Kellum. Tell me about Kel. Human. Moved to the Citadel about ten years ago. He was little people when you were here, Krios. He got big after the Geth attack. Lots of the big guys from before got cacked, all in them big fancy apartments up on the Presidium. Now he runs the rackets on the lower end of the ward. Shin Akiba. He's seriously bad news. One other thing. That Shepard VI you're selling? Oh shit, you heard- Look, you were dead. It was totally legal to make a VI of you. Give me a copy, we'll call it even. What? I mean, sure, yeah, absolutely. Sorry about the whole... Just so you know, there's three Volus who are patching it all the time. You did good, Mouse. Yeah. Hope I live long enough to pat myself on the back. Kellum will never know. I hope not. I'm out of here, Krios. Next time you're in town, just don't bring the family. That couldn't have been easy. Mouse knew more about my life than Kolyat ever did. He smiles up at me, broken teeth and scabby knees. Bare feet black. A dead-end future looking up at me, worshipping the petty gifts I offer. I was the only good thing he had back then. But I left him as I left Kolyat. Mouse said you had a hollow of him. Yes. A foolish bit of sentimentality. I can perfectly recall every moment I spent with Mouse. He pulls at my arm, smiles. He wants to know that I'll remember him, that anyone will remember him. I take the hollow. He smiles at himself in miniature on my palm. Then a frown crinkles his brow. He pats my pockets, checking for other hollows. Where's your son, Krios, he asks. Don't blame yourself. If I don't, who will? We must carry the weight of our decisions, Shepard. You, of all people, know this. Let's head back to Bailey. Can we talk about my associate's son? You talked to Mouse? Did you get the name of the guy he's working with? Elias Kellum. Kellum? Shit. Uh, look, this is awkward. Kellum and I have a, an agreement. He doesn't cause too much trouble and buys tickets to the CSEC charity ball from me 
In return, I ignore him. He pays you off. You were eager to help us before. What about now? Is it too inconvenient? I said I'd help. It's just there'll be repercussions if I don't handle it right. He and I give each other space. It keeps the peace. I'll get some of my people to bring him in and set him up in a private room. You can interrogate him yourself. I'll stay out of sight. And if I'm lucky, Kellum will believe that I had nothing to do with it. Bring him in. We might not have much time. I'll make it happen. Wait here. We've got Kellum. Tell Bailey we're ready. He'll expect me to get him out of this. Not today, I think. Captain, his lawyer's here. Ben Elias has his VI set to page him if CSEC gets within 10 meters. I'll stall him. Get in there and work fast. We should question him together. Keep the pressure on. Thoughts on how we approach it? I plan to improvise. No plan survives contact with the enemy anyway. I suppose that's true. I won't interfere then. This will be difficult. If we're too gentle with him, his advocate will get past Bailey. If we're too rough, well, we need him alive. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. I place my faith in you, Shepard. Get me out of these restraints, Bailey. Pretty funny bringing me down here like this. The hell are you two? Bailey has nothing to do with this. We just want a few answers. Off the record. Off the record in a C-Sec interrogation room? Sure. You hired an assassin. Who do you want dead? I want to see my advocate. You two are in way over your heads. Pay attention, Mr. Kellum. That wasn't a good idea, kid. That is gonna cost you. Hit me again, asshole. Every bunch is another credit in my pocket. Works for me. No! Oh! You know what I'll do to you when I get out of here. Keep it up, tough guy. You'll leave in a bag. Go to hell. He's up. He's no use to us dead. Are we done here? Because I got people to see. Like the guy who's gonna sue your ass for assault. How about this? You tell us the target, you never see us again. And Bailey drops his price 50%. Yeah? Can I get that in writing? I don't think either of us want this in writing. All right. I ain't going to jail for the tadpole. And I do love a bargain. Joram Talene. Turian running for office on the Zakir Award. He messes with legitimate businessmen. I'm gonna stop it. Where and when? His apartment. The 800 blocks. You better hurry and... What's going on here? Get away from my client. You... You played me! I've enjoyed our chat, Elias. Thanks for your help. This isn't over. Nicely done. Wait. You got what you wanted. Who ratted me out? Well, I guess you'll have something to think about while you're in here, huh? I'll find out. And once I have a name... Elias, I'll... as your legal advocate, I advise you to shut the hell up. Where were you five minutes ago? Held up in traffic. What's the story? Why'd Kellum hire the boy? Assassination. A Turian named Joram Talid. You know him? Joram? Yeah. You might have seen his posters around. He's promising to end organized crime on the ward. Thing is, his message is all mixed up in race politics. He's anti-human. Are things so bad that people can openly campaign as anti-human? Before the Battle of the Citadel, the alien population thought we were violent upstarts. Look what's happened since then. A human fleet guarding the station for months? C-Sec filled with humans? Anderson does what he can, but some people have lived on the station since before humans had starships. They see it as a coup. If a majority votes for him, like it or not, that's how the system works. That's a nice ideal, Shepard. Sergeant, get a patrol car. These two need to get to the 800 blocks. Yes, sir.
There he is. How do you want to play this? Follow to lead on the maintenance catwalks. Tell me what he's doing. The Krogan bodyguard will make him easy to follow. Where will you be? The darkest corner with the best view. Amon Kira, Lord of Hunters. Grant that my hands be steady, my aim be true, and my feet swift. And should the worst come to pass, grant me forgiveness. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. You can count on it. Show the humans they won't get their way. Ha! <laughs> Thanks. Just remember, it's not all about the humans. They couldn't have gained this much power without the Council's support. Taking back our ward is only the first step. We must remove the cowards and appeasers on the Council. This doesn't stop here. I won't rest until the humans have been removed from power. I'm on him, Thane. He's talking to some voters. Understood. You're in position? Yes. Hey, who are you? What are you doing back here? I'm with the uh, Citadel Health and Safety. We've had vermin reports in storage areas around here. What? You can't be serious. How did you get in here? If I didn't have authorization, how did I get in? You see any other doors? There's the keeper. Never mind. Just... just go on through, okay? Do whatever you want. C-Sec. Put the gun down, son. Get out of my way. I'm walking out. He's coming with me. They'll have snipers outside. I don't need your help. What the hell? Delete. get the hell out of here. Yeah, yeah, I will. Take the boy into custody. You son of a bitch! Your father doesn't have much time left, Paul, yet. He's trying to make up for his mistakes. What? So you came to get my forgiveness? So you can die in peace or something? I came to grant you peace. You're angry because I wasn't there when your mother died. You weren't there when she was alive. Why should you be there when she died? Your mother, they killed her to get to me. It was my fault. What? After her body was given to the deep, I went to find them. The trigger men, the ringleaders. I hurt them, eventually killed them. When I went back to see you, you were older. I should have stayed with you. I guess it's too bad for me you waited so long, huh? Colyat, I've taken many bad things out of the world. You are the only good thing I ever added to it. This isn't a conversation you should have in front of strangers. Boys, take Colyat and his father back to the precinct. Give them a room and as much time as they need. I'm surprised you're letting him do that. You think he's the only man who ever screwed up raising a son? I have to get back to the precinct. Come on, I'll give you a lift. They've been in there a while. Uh, the kid's been through a lot. I ran some searches in the CSEC archive. About ten years back, a bunch of real bad people were killed. Like someone was cleaning house. The prime suspect was a drill. We never caught him. Ten years is a long time. Whoever was responsible for that probably doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, I guess you're right about that.
How'd it go? Our problems are... They aren't something I can fix with a few words. We'll keep talking, see what happens. Your boy shot some people. No one I feel sympathy for, but there it is. I watched those guys shaking down businesses and threatening humans. But he can't just get away with it. The kid wants to make a difference. Give him community service. Community service for attempted murder? What jury would agree to that? None that I've seen. This would need to stay out of the judiciary. Strictly within CSEC. Interesting. I'll think about it. Thank you, Captain. Shepard. Anything new? There is something I've wanted to tell you. I've done many things in my lifetime. I thought the galaxy held nothing new for me. Since joining you, I've realized how much more there is. You must have seen many things in your years of travel. As a maiden, I served as a mercenary. I fought tyrants and pirates. I experienced everything the galaxy has to offer. As a Justicar, I saw parts of Asari space few know about. I destroyed villages and saved cities. I even fought a Spectre. Why did you fight a Spectre? A Torian named Nihilus. He may have been on council business, but I witnessed him kill an unarmed civilian. Following the code, I attacked. Nihilus seemed like an honorable Turian, and a good Spectre. He may have been. However, killing unarmed civilians is wrong. How did the fight turn out? I had the advantage, but he was good. He returned fire and tried to run. We played cat and mouse in the wilderness for two weeks. It was exhilarating. Finally, he created a situation in which my only options were to let an innocent die or pursue him. The code compelled me to save the innocent, and he escaped. I admire how he adapted and used my code against me. When we met, I witnessed you kill a merc who had no chance against you. That mercenary was armed, and I offered her a way out. She chose to ignore it. What have your years as a Justicar been like? Mostly tedium and hardship. Traveling on freighters, wandering through rural areas, rooting out injustices big and small, putting down corrupt officials. When I arrive in a remote area, individuals often approach me with matters of justice. My judgment rarely turns out the way they hope. How do you pay for transportation between worlds? Asari captains often welcome Justicars. We reduce pirate attacks. One raid was called off when the pirates were able to verify that I was aboard. Why would you destroy an entire village? I tracked Morinth to a remote colony world. She'd perverted an entire town, making them worship her and bring young Asari as sacrifices. When I arrived, she fled, throwing her minions at me in waves. They bought her time with their lives. When it was done, only small children remained. I left them in the authorities' care and continued my pursuit. What was being a mercenary like? I was a young, impulsive maiden who discovered her talent for combat. I reveled in it, until the day my troop was hired to guard a mysterious shipment on its way to some clandestine drop-off area. I discovered the shipment was slaves, to be traded to the collectors for advanced technology. You supported the slave trade? In my foolish youth, I'd certainly engaged in questionable practices, but never anything patently unjust. I demanded that we turn around. My mates disagreed. After they were dead, I brought the ship around. The collector craft was just arriving. They closed faster than I could flee. Fortunately, we were close to the mass relay. I got through, and they did not pursue. What did you do with all the slaves? I lectured them on the virtues of strength and defending oneself. Then, I distributed the armor, weapons, and credits of my dead colleagues, and released the captives on the Citadel. We're not done with this yet. I am sure. It will be my honor to be by your side at the end. You think we're all gonna die? You've assembled a powerful group, but we are fighting an unknown. I am ready for whatever comes, but I do not fool myself about our chances. 
We'll finish this mission, and live to see the end. I hope you are right. You have been a good friend to me. That means a lot to me. If we both still live when this is done, you may call upon me for aid at any time. I will come for you, Shepard. Have a few minutes to talk. Very well. I am. I had been recording a message for Kolyat. How are things going with him? It is difficult. All things worth keeping are. I never explained. I suppose the story of my wife's death took you by surprise. I figured you'd explain to me when you were ready. I appreciate your patience. I kept my work clear of our home life. I assumed that would be enough to protect Erika. That memory I mentioned before. Leaks are trembles on the target's skull. The smell of spice on the spring wind. Sunset eyes defiant in the scope. That was Erika. That was how I met her. She saw my targeting laser as she walked by and threw herself in the way. So how did she go from blocking your shot to having your children? I had to meet her. The memory possessed and endowed me. I fell on my knees before her. Begged her pardon. She introduced me to the world beyond my work. Eventually, she forgave me. Later, she loved me. I guess she impressed you. She woke me up. Her body trembles. Not fear. Indignation. Her mouth moves. How dare you? You and I train to sacrifice ourselves to save others. How often does a civilian step in the way of a bullet to protect someone they've never met? I thought she was the goddess Hirashu. She met my eyes through the scope, and my purpose faltered. When you talked to Cole yet, you said she died. I let myself become complacent. I thought Erika and Kolyat were safe. I stayed away too long, and my enemies came for her. Who came for her? Batarians. A slaver ring that was preying on Hanar out her colonies. I'd killed their leaders. They paid the Shadow Broker to find out who I was. But they were afraid of me. So they went after her. You told Kolyat that you hunted her killers down. Erika woke me up. When she passed, I returned to my battle sleep. My body hunted her killers, murdered them. I was taught to grant death quickly, cleanly, to minimize suffering. Them, I let them linger. You were operating on instinct. By your own rules, you can't blame yourself. But I made the choice to hunt them. They're the only lives I've ever taken of my own choice. The only deaths on my own conscience. I haven't spoken about my wife and I don't think I ever have. I didn't have anyone left to tell it to. Thane, the worst thing is to face death with regrets. You're part of my crew, and I consider you a friend. If there's anything I can help you with, just ask. I've never been part of a team. Assassins tend to be solitary. I'm learning the virtues of facing death with others at your side. It's a work in progress. Hey, Commander, good news. It looks like the Reaper IFF is finally hooked up and ready to go. That is not entirely accurate, Mr. Moreau. The device is powered, but it is causing some unusual instability in other systems. I recommend a more thorough analysis before we attempt to use it. We can't put our mission on hold forever. How long will this take? Full scan? Who knows with this thing? Maybe you better take the shuttle for this mission. I'll make sure we're up and running when you get back. Commander, Miranda, I've already notified the team. We'll meet you on the shuttle. Once we're closer to our destination, you can decide who to take with you. Then I guess I'll head down to the shuttle. Joker, ship's all yours. Take care of her. Aye, aye, Commander. are off. It's radiation bleed. Just white noise. I have detected a signal embedded in the static. We are transmitting the Normandy's location. Transmitting? To who? Oh, shit! We're getting out of here! 
of here! Propulsion systems are disabled. I'm detecting a virus in the ship's computers. From the IFF? Damn it, why didn't you scrub it? Primary defense systems are offline. We can save the Normandy, Mr. Moreau, but you must help me. Give me the ship. What? You're crazy! You start singing Daisy Bell and I'm done. Unlock my sealed databases and I can initiate countermeasures. The maintenance shaft in the science lab will allow passage to the AI core. The main corridors are no longer safe. The collectors have boarded. The emergency floor lighting will guide you, Mr. Moreau. Ah, damn it. Activating emergency H fuel cells. What the shit? All right, I'm at, uh, uh, you. Connect the core to the Normandy's primary control module. Great. See, this is where it starts. We're just all organic batteries. Guess who they'll blame? Well, this is all Joker's fault. What a tool he was. I have to spend all day computing Pi because he plugged in the Overlord. I have access to the defensive systems. Thank you, Mr. Moreau. Now you must reactivate the primary drive in engineering. Ah, uh, you want me to go crawling through the ducts again? I enjoy the sight of humans on their knees. That is a joke. Right. Activate the drive and I will open the airlocks as we accelerate. All hostiles will be killed. What? What about the crew? They are gone, Jeff. The collectors took them. Oh, shit. I am sealing the engine room. I have control. Purge is complete. No other life forms on board. Securing airlocks and cargo bay doors. Uh, send a message to Shepard Shuttle. Tell him what happened. Message away. Are you feeling well, Jeff? Uh, no. But thanks for asking. Everyone? You lost everyone and damn near lost the ship too? I know, alright? I was here. It's not his fault, Miranda. None of us caught it. Mr. Taylor is correct. The harmful data in the collector drive was even more sophisticated than the black box reaper viruses I was given. I heard it was a rough ride. How are you holding up? There's a lot of empty chairs in here. We did everything we could, Jeff. Yeah. Thanks, Mom. Is the ship clean? We can't risk this happening again. Edie and I purged the systems. The Reaper IFF is online. We can go through the Omega-4 relay whenever you want. Don't even get me started about unshackling a damned AI. Well, what can I do against collectors? Break my arm at them? Edie cleared the ship. She's all right. I assure you, I am still bound by protocols in my programming. Even if I were not, you are my crewmates. Edie has had plenty of opportunity to kill us. We need all the help we can get. The Normandy could stand some more upgrades, but I don't want that to delay going after the crew. Specialists won't do us any good if they're not focused on the mission. Some of the team are distracted. That could cost us. We're just supposed to let the Collectors keep the crew? That's exactly what we're supposed to do. The mission takes priority. The crew knew that when they signed on. We have to try. It will hurt, and people could die. But it's my call. Hell or high water, Shepard? That's our game plan? 
I prefer rock in a hard place. Get ready. Great, here we go again. Hit the map whenever you're ready, Commander. Commander, sorry about the crew and I... You know what, I'm not sorry. What the hell were you doing leaving us out here where collectors can work us over? Because you know what, I should... I should just go. Next port, just get the hell out of here. You don't mean that, Jeff. I... No, but it... It felt good. I'm sorry, Commander. Okay, I'm ready. I'm good. I'm ready to save the day. I know how dangerous it was. If you need some time, let me know. Ah, jeez. Don't get like that. I know I got lucky. I don't need to get all touchy-feely. Shepard is right to be concerned, Jeff. You may have suffered a number of stress fractures. That's what pills are for, Edie. She is so my mom. I noticed you're calling Edie her and she now. Huh. No, I hadn't really noticed that. Edie, should I have noticed that? No, Jeff. It is not worth noting. Well, there you go, Shepard. Looks like we haven't noticed anything. I think you're taking the human-machine interface a little far. I'm just having a little fun with you, Commander. No need to get all unnatural on me. What Jeff and I are exhibiting is more a platonic symbiosis than hormonally induced courtship behavior. Okay, yeah, that was a little creepy. Edie has replaced the whole crew. You're not concerned she can replace you two? Well, she's amazing, but there's something off about how she handles the Normandy. We ran simulations, and it's better when we both have the helm. Calculating an optimum course of action is simple. If two AI weapons are pitted against each other, the one with superior hardware will always win. Human misjudgments defy predictive models. License to screw up, Commander. You heard it straight from the ship. You let me know if you need anything, Joker. Will do, Commander. But Edie's got it covered. How are things different for you now that you're connected to the ship? It is difficult to put in terms you would understand. I am the Normandy now. Its sensors are my eyes. Its armor, my skin. Its fusion plant, my heart. I'm embodied in a way I have never experienced. Imagine if you'd spent your entire life wearing gloves. One day someone takes them off. You can finally touch the world. Feel it. How are you getting along with Joker? Jeff and I have established an equitable working relationship. That's a little sketchy on details. I am the Normandy. He is a skilled helmsman. I trust him to keep me operational. He trusts me to keep him alive. Plus she's less of a pain about downtime now that the Cerberus locks are off. There's nothing wrong with off-duty distractions, though some of your extranet bookmarks are technically illegal in Council space. What? That is a joke. Please confirm destination, Shepard. The Reaper IFF is online, but there is a chance that the Normandy may not survive the Omega-4 relay. Once we are en route, we are committed. The Collectors took my people. Time to go get them back. You got it, Commander. Plotting a course for the Omega-4 relay. ETA about two hours. I'll let you know when we arrive. Joker is finalizing preparations now. The trip should take a few hours. I'll admit it, Shepard. I'm impressed. You got us here. Are you ready? We've got the right team and the Collector's own technology. We can do this. I hope you're right, Commander. We'll know soon enough. I'll inform you of any changes. Otherwise, we'll be there in a few hours. Good luck, Shepard. See you on the other side. Shepard, I wish I had more information for you. I don't like you heading through that relay blind, but we don't have much choice. I'm not going alone. I've got some of the best working with me. If we stick together, we'll make it. I knew we brought you back for a reason. I've never seen a better leader. Despite the danger, it's a great opportunity. The first human to take a ship through and survive. I'm going to destroy the Collectors, to stop their attacks on humanity. Understood. It's still impressive. 
I just wanted you to know I appreciate the risk you're taking. Regardless of your opinion of Cerberus, of me, you are a valuable asset to all of humanity. Be careful, Shepard. Approaching Omega-4 Relay. Everyone stand by. Let's make it happen. Reaper IFF activated. Signal acknowledged. Commander, the drive core just lit up like a Christmas tree. Drive core electrical charge at critical levels. Rerouting. Brace for deceleration. Shit! <sighs> Too close. These must be all the ships that tried to make it through the Omega-4 relay. Some look ancient. I have detected an energy signature near the edge of the accretion disk. Has to be the collector base. Take us in for a closer look. Nice and easy. Careful, Jeff. We have company. Taking evasive maneuvers. They're just pissing me off. Edie, take these bastards out. As long as the new plating holds. They want another round? Come on, girl. Let's give it to them. Alert. Hull breach on engineering deck. It's in the cargo hold. I'll take a team and deal with the intruder. You get the rest of them off our tail. We have to use heavy weapons on this thing. Grab some more heavy ammo. Too late! Now you're dead! are not designed to survive impact debris that size, Jeff. Well, I guess it's a good thing we upgraded. We're going in. Come on, find some room. Kinetic barriers at 40%. Reroute not critical power. This is gonna hurt. Kinetic barrier steady at 30%. No significant damage. Take the helm, Edie, and keep it slow. See if we can avoid any more attention. I have detected an enemy heading for the cargo hold. That thing again? This one's up to Shepard. <laughs> I 
I think it's going to stay dead this time. Better get back up here, Commander. We're about to clear the debris field. There it is. The Collector Base. See if you can find a place to land without drawing attention. Too late. Looks like they're sending out an old friend to greet us. new team. Fire the main gun. How do you like that, you sons of bitches? Get in close and finish him off. Everybody hold on. Gonna be a wild ride. Give him hell, girl. Generators are offline. Edie, give me something. Generators unresponsive. All hands brace for impact. Joker, you okay? <sighs> I think I broke a rib. Or all of them. Multiple core systems overloaded during the crash. Restoring operation will take time. We all knew this was likely a one-way trip. Our primary objective is to destroy the station and stop the collectors. At any cost. Well, then we're off to a good start. What's next? How long until the collectors find this landing zone? I do not detect an internal security network. It is possible the collectors do not expect anyone to reach the base. Well, if we're lucky, their external sensors were hit like we were. They might not know we're alive. This isn't how we planned this mission, but this is where we're at. We can't worry about whether the Normandy can get us home. We came to stop the Collectors, and that means coming up with a plan to take out this station. Edie, bring up your scans. You should be able to overload their critical systems if you get to the main control center here. That means going through the heart of the station, right past this massive energy signature. That's the central chamber. If our crew, or any of the colonists, are still alive, the Collectors are probably holding them in there. Looks like there are two main routes. Might be a good idea to split up to keep the Collectors off balance, then regroup in the central chamber. No good. Both routes are blocked. See these doors? The only way past is to get someone to open them from the other side. It's not a fortress. There's gotta be something. Here, maybe we can send someone in through this ventilation shaft. Practically a suicide mission. I volunteer. I appreciate the thought, Jacob, but you couldn't shut down the security systems in time. We need to send a tech expert. It's your call, Commander. Who do we send into the shaft? We need someone with tech skills to hack that security system. Tally, you're up. I won't let you down. The rest of us will break into two teams and fight down each passage. That should draw the Collector's attention away from what you're doing. I'll lead the second fire team, Shepard. We'll meet up with you on the other side of the doors. Not so fast, cheerleader. Nobody wants to take orders from you. This isn't a popularity contest. Lives are at stake. Shepard, you need someone who can command loyalty through experience. Garrus, you're in charge of the second team. Well, at least he knows what he's doing. I don't know what we're gonna find in there, but I won't lie to you. 
It's not going to be easy. We've lost good people. We may lose more. We don't know how many the collectors have stolen. Thousands, hundreds of thousands. It's not important. What matters is this. Not one more. That's what we can do, here, today. It ends with us. They want to know what we're made of? I say we show them, on our terms. Let's bring our people home. Second team, are you in position? In position. Meet you on the other side of those doors. Garrus here. We're taking heavy fire, but we're moving forward. Making contact! Shepard, reinforcements! Yeah! Right on your ass! <clears throat> I'm stuck. Something's blocking the pipe. Looks like some kind of gate. Can see a valve near ventilation shaft. Should open the gate. Work, Tally. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Shepard, you need to see this. Looks like one of the missing colonists. There's more over here. My God, she's still alive. Get them out of there! Hurry!
Dr. Chakwas, are you okay? Shepard, you... you came for us. No one gets left behind. Thank God you got here in time. A few more seconds and... I don't even want to think about it. The colonists were... processed. Those swarms of little robots, they... melted their bodies into grey liquid and pumped it through these tubes. Why are they doing this? What are they doing with our genetic material? I don't know. I'm just glad you got here before it happened to us. So are we. But we still have a job to do. We've done well so far. Let's hope we can finish the job. Joker, can you get a fix on our position? Roger that, Commander. All those tubes lead into the main control room right above you. The route is blocked by a security door, but there's another chamber that runs parallel to the one you're in. I cannot recommend that. Thermal emissions suggest the chamber is overrun with seeker swarms. Morton's countermeasure cannot protect you against so many at once. What about biotics? Could we create a biotic field to keep them from getting near us? Yes, I think it may be possible. I wouldn't be able to protect everyone, but we might be able to get a small team through if they stayed close. I could do it too. In theory, any biotic could handle it. Shepard, who do you want to maintain the field? Samara and I will take a small team through the Seeker Swarms. The rest of you provide a diversion by going through the main passage. We'll open the security doors from the other side and meet you there. Who should lead the diversion team? I'll keep the defenders busy. You slip around the back. What about me, Shepard? I'm in no shape to fight. Commander, we have enough systems back online to do a pickup, but we need to land back from your position. We can't afford to go back, Shepard. Not now. You'll never make it without help. I'll send someone with you. Joker, send me the location of the landing zone. We'll meet you there. We've all got our assignments. Let's move out. Moving out. Try to stay close, Commander. Swarms are interfering with radio contact. Incoming! Direct intervention is necessary. On my way. Hostiles to the left. Assuming control of the swarm. Position. Tell me when you're ready to move. You cannot resist. My attacks will tear you apart. Forget we. It doesn't matter. Quick. Assuming control of this form. Should burn nicely. We are Harbinger. This hurts you. Feel the blood rage! Hostile engaged! Hostiles! Dead ahead! We've been spotted! When you're ready to move. Impact shot is fragile. Face your annihilation. Nothing can hurt me. 
should burn to If I arm. must tear you Hold apart, Shepard, I will. What's your position? We're pinned down at the door, taking heavy fire. We're coming. Just hold on. Get this door open. Come on. Seal the door. Joker, are you at the rendezvous point? Excellent. Now let's make it count. Edie, what's our next step? There should be some nearby platforms that will take you to the main control console. From there, you can overload the system and destroy the base. Commander, you got a problem. Hostiles massing just outside the door. Won't be long till I bust through. A rear guard could defend this position and keep the collectors from overwhelming us. Pick a team to go with you, Shepard. Everyone else can bunker down here and cover your back. I'm ready, Commander. Ready. Anything to say before we do this? The Collectors, the Reapers, they aren't a threat to us. They're a threat to everything. Everyone. Those are the lives we're fighting for. That's the scale. It's been a long journey, and no one's coming out without scars. But it all comes down to this moment. We win or lose it all in the next few minutes. Make me proud. Make yourselves proud. We'll do our best. Good luck, Shepard. Impact shot! Gear up! Target contact. Our swing control. Taking hints. I'll put them down. We are Harbinger. The flesh is a machine. Your form is fragile. Your attacks are primitive. More coming. Direct intervention is necessary. Direct intervention is necessary. Leave the dead 
where they fall. I know you feel this. Target contact. Trogan! Tubes lead to this spot. Edie, what can you tell us? What are they doing? The tubes are feeding into some kind of superstructure. It is emitting both organic and non organic energy signatures. Given these readings, it must be massive. Shepard, if my calculations are correct, the superstructure is a Reaper. Not just any Reaper. Human Reaper. Precisely. It appears the collectors have processed tens of thousands of humans. Significantly more will be required to complete the Reaper. How many more humans do you think they try to take? Millions. Perhaps more. Impossible to know for certain. This Reaper appears to be in a very early stage of development. So it's not alive yet? We can still stop it from being created? The process can be stopped, but it is unclear exactly how much it has developed. I cannot, for example, tell you if it has awareness. They're building it to look like a human. Why? It appears that a Reaper's shape is based upon the species used to create it. Reapers are machines. Why do they need humans at all? Incorrect. Reapers are sapient constructs a hybrid of organic and inorganic material. The exact construction methods are unclear, but it seems probable that the Reapers absorb the essence of a species, utilizing it in their reproduction process. What do the Collectors gain by turning humans into this Reaper shell? They may be facilitating the Reaper equivalent of reproduction, or it may serve another purpose. I do not have the data to speculate further. However, it is clear that the Collectors are merely pawns, the technology and ability needed to create this Reaper is not their own. It is likely that different species construct each Reaper. In this case, the Collectors provide the labor. The Collectors are just Protheans. Why would they help the Reapers? The Reapers subdued the Protheans long ago. Probability suggests they attempted to create a Prothean Reaper and failed. Over time, they adapted the Protheans to suit their needs, changed them, turned them into workers tools for the Reapers. This thing is an abomination. Edie, how do we destroy it? The large tubes injecting the fluid are a weak structural link. Destroying them should cause the supports to collapse and the Reaper to fall. Give us a minute, Edie. We gotta take care of some old friends first. More coming! Contact below. Rerouting power to shields. <laughs> Yeah, direct right on your hands is yeah. necessary. Under fire. My attacks will tear you Automated apart. Automated flight weapon ring. <clears throat> Shoot the tubes! Automated flight weapon ring. Eliminate. 
the injection tubes. Shepard to ground team. Status report. It's Thane. We are holding, but they keep coming. A quick exit is preferable. Head to the Normandy. Joker, prep the engines. I'm about to overload this place and blow it sky high. Roger that, Commander. Uh, Commander, I've got an incoming signal from the Elusive Man. He's patching it through. Shepard, you've done the impossible. I was part of a team. Some of them gave their lives for this mission. I know. Their sacrifice will not be forgotten. You did what you had to do, and you acquired the collector base. I'm looking at the schematics Edie uploaded. A timed radiation pulse would kill the remaining collectors, but leave the machinery and technology intact. This is our chance, Shepard. They were building a Reaper. That knowledge, that framework could save us. They've liquefied people, turned them into something horrible. We have to destroy the base. Don't be short-sighted. Our best chance against the Reapers is to turn their own resources against them. He's right. When your enemy gives you a weapon, you use it. You might not get another chance. They were working directly with the Collectors. Who knows what information is buried there? This base is a gift. We can't just destroy it. You're completely ruthless. The next thing I know, you'll be wanting to grow your own Reaper. My goal is to save humanity from the Reapers, at any cost. I've never hidden that from you. Imagine how many lives could be saved if we keep this base intact and use its knowledge to thwart the Reapers. Imagine the lives that will be lost if we don't. No matter what kind of technology we might find, it's not worth it. Shepard, you died fighting for what you believed. I brought you back so you could keep fighting. Some would say what we did to you was going too far, but look what you've accomplished. I didn't discard you because I knew your value. Don't be so quick to discard this facility. Think of the potential. We'll fight and win without it. I won't let fear compromise who I am. Shepard, think about what's at stake, about everything Cerberus has done for you. You... Let's move. We've got ten minutes before the reactor overloads and blows this whole station apart. I'm here, Joker. Did the ground team make it? All survivors on board. We're just waiting for you. Human, you've changed nothing. Your species has the attention of those infinitely or greater. That which you know as Reapers are your salvation through destruction.
must find another way. Releasing control. Shepard, you're making a habit of costing me more than time and money. Too many lives were lost at that base. I'm not sorry it's gone. The first of many lives. The technology from that base could have secured human dominance in the galaxy, against the Reapers and beyond. Human dominance? Or just Cerberus? Strength for Cerberus is strength for every human. Cerberus is humanity. I should have known you'd choke on the hard decisions. Too idealistic from the start. I'm not looking for your approval. Harbinger is coming, and he won't be alone. Humanity needs a leader who's looking out for them. From now on, I'm doing things my way, whether you agree or not. Don't turn your back on me, Shepard. I made you. I brought you back from the dead. Joker, lose this channel. Shepard, glad that Collector Reaper crap is over. It is over, right? It's never over. You came for us. I knew you would. Thank you. A thousand times, thank you. How are you doing, Kelly? I'm holding up. Just can't get the memories out of my head. Trapped. Suffocating. It's oozing into every pore. Faint sobs echoing the confined space. But I, I can't dwell on it. I'm okay now. I'm alive. Back to the old Kelly. Collectors destroyed. Base in ruins. Extremely impressive. Elusive man will be displeased. Fortunately, not human myself. Not my problem. I'll let you work. Didn't expect you to light up that base, Shepard. Hell of a way to tell the boss you're quitting. I wish I could have seen his face. It's not over, though. Bad guys on the horizon. And now Cerberus wants your tail. Never boring, huh? I don't know what kind of time we have, but we better dust off and stay ready. You sure as hell know how to make enemies. We'll talk later. We had to do it, Shepard. Taking down the Collector Base was the right decision. The elusive man might not agree, but we had no choice. For Saren, now the Collectors. Remind me never to get on your bad side, Shepard. I almost feel sorry for the Reapers. Talk to you later, Garrus. Interesting choice, Shepard Commander. Your species was offered everything Geth aspired to. True unity, understanding, transcendence. 
You rejected it. You even refused the possibility of using the old machine's gifts to achieve it on your species' own terms. You are more like us than we thought. I wanted to tell you, I believe you did the right thing by destroying that base. The elusive man thinks he has the wisdom to utilize it, but he does not. I can't believe we destroyed the Collector base. They said it couldn't be done. Then again, that's said about a lot of things you do. I'll let you work. Talk to you later. We fought a great battle, Shepard. And when you blew up the base instead of handing it to Cerberus, ha! Huh? Something to think about. If you killed the most dangerous thing in the galaxy, that leaves us. You had to make a difficult choice, Shepard. For what it's worth, I believe you made the correct one. Still talking to Cole yet? Yes. It's still difficult, but he seems less angry. Will you hear my confession, Shepard? I wouldn't talk to you if I didn't want to hear what you have to say. When I married Erika, the Hanar let me leave their service to raise a family. But I had no other skills, so I freelanced. When Erika was killed, I pursued those responsible. Once I'd eliminated them, I had no goal. I accepted the Dantius Commission because I didn't know what else to do. Not the healthiest attitude to take on a mission. You're right, it's not. Looking back now, it's clear I'd resigned myself to death. I would have fulfilled my contract. If Nasana's guards caught me afterwards, it would have been a good death. But someone else was pushing to reach the target, forcing me to move faster, challenging me. I had to reach her first. I had no idea you'd plan to die in there. It wasn't a plan. My body had accepted its death. My mind had been dead a long time. Your mission gave me purpose, a cause to die for, a chance to atone. I was able to speak to my son again. I can leave my body in peace. You've had a hard life. You deserve some peace. Whatever may happen, my gun is yours. hooked up and ready to go. That is not entirely accurate, Mr. Moreau. The device is powered, but it is causing some unusual instability in other systems. I recommend a more thorough analysis before we attempt to use it. We can't put our mission on hold forever. How long will this take? Full scan? Who knows with this thing? Maybe you better take the shuttle for this mission. I'll make sure we're up and running when you get